Hey guys, I got you another wonderful Tech Nitwit video. We are going to be going over the TG01, and this is an HP Pavlon Gaming desktop. We are going to be doing some awesome benchmarks today. I'm going to be comparing the 690 versus the TG. This is pretty much Intel versus AMD, NVIDIA versus Radeon, and uh, we're going to see who stacks up to be the best out of the two. This is a $700 computer. Yes, it's a new. It's a, it is one year newer. I do like the airflow on this computer a little bit better. I like the front of the case, how it comes off, and I definitely like the drive cages versus the 690. Um, it does have a little bit more room for graphics cards too. We uh, measured 10 and a half versus 10 was the other one. I think a 10 and like a quarter was the other one, and this is like 10 and a half. So you can get the larger graphics cards in here. It does not have that little caddy thing in the side. Well, anyways, I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk too much about this thing, but we are gonna start. We're, let me show you. Um, I do want to go over a couple videos that we're going to be doing. I'm going to be doing, you know, an upgrade video of this guy and the 690. Um, we are going to be doing probably a tear down, tear up. We're going to be doing some video gaming, Fortnite, uh, Battlefield, a couple other missed games, and then the benchmark videos of before and after. You'll see what it is uh, upgraded and then I'm not not upgraded. So guys, give me a couple of seconds and I'm going to get the vent first benchmark set up and I'll be right back with you. We just took a short break really quick here. I got this all set up, made sure it was working, you know, Emilia Manano, making sure it's perfect, uh, making sure all the stuff was showing up. But we're going to jump right into this. We are going to jump into a Time Spy benchmark. This is a DirectX 12 benchmark. It will, uh, DirectX is the most modern uh, graphics type of back end driver. Um, I, I'll get some more information for you on that. That's pretty much what I know it is. Uh, it's a Windows managed. Uh, package, but uh, this will give you, you know, frames per second and how hot your system is going to get, and so on. And then the last but not uh, the next benchmark we will be doing is Fire Strike. So I'll stop talking. I am going to come in here and make sure the demo is off, and it is now. And then we're going to go ahead and hit run. Um, I am going to time lapse this, so I might have some talking in the first minute or so before it starts, and then it's going to go to time lapse, some music, and uh, that'll kind of be the the variance for each benchmark. Otherwise, each but you know the benchmarks are about five to seven minutes a pop, and I really don't think somebody wants to sit here just watching benchmarks for a twenty-minute video. So, guys, I will uh, get this running, and we will get this starting while I'm talking. I will have links for any benchmark that has a a, a linkable URL in the description down below. So, if you guys are wondering what the stats were. Um, all through the benchmark, you can take a look at it. If you're thinking about buying this PC, you can see your exact benchmark. I will say from the benchmarks I've done with this already, it gets two thumbs up from Tech Nitwit. It is a very comparable gaming computer. So I'm gonna time lapse this really quick and I'll be back with you guys at the end of the benchmark. <laughs> comparison quick on the 690 it has an i5 9400k versus this uh raisin 5 3500k so and that was a 1660 ti versus the raisin rx um not raisin sorry the radeon rx 5500 so really quick in time spy the 690 got a max of 61 this did a max of ooh, 29 um, no, sorry, an average of 39.29. This maxed at 50, so a little bit less. Um, the score was 5,080.09, where this was 4,020.37. Uh, the G GPU temp was, let me pull up Afterburner, so I, uh, GPU temperature got to a max of 54, so definitely less than the 690. Uh, the TG had a, about a 54.55. The TG had a temp of uh, 54 Celsius with the GPU. The 690 on Time Spy had a 62. And our CPU temp was barely over 
uh, got to 70. So the Raisin 5 3500 got to about 70. And uh, that was a difference of the i5 and the 690 got to 71. So guys, we are going to jump into the Fire Strike, and that is going to be our second benchmark. I will have URLs for all these benchmarks for the 690 and the TG in my description below. If there is a comment or a suggestion or something you guys would like me to do different in a video or add to a video, throw it in the comments below. It helps me out. The other thing, if you guys like the video, like. If you dislike, well, you know what to do. And if you could throw a comment down below, even if it's like, thanks for the video, you know, I really appreciate it. Or, hey, hey, you know, TechNet, well, you're awesome. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Don't say that. But you know what I mean. If you got to this far in the video, thank you very much. And if you can do that, that'd be super awesome. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm just an up-and-coming YouTuber. So we're going to jump right into our second benchmark, which is going to be Fire Strike. And this is a DirectX 11. So this is the counter comparison to DirectX 12, which takes a lot more CPU and GPU. Um, the Sorry, the Fire Strike takes less GPU and CPU. But it is what the majority of video games are made off of if they use DirectX instead of the other variants out there. So guys, we're going to get this started up and then uh, I will give you some comparisons to show you uh, what this bad mamma jamma can do and uh, I'm going to time lapse this so I'll be right back with you after this is done enjoy the music and the benchmark scored a wonderful 10,815, 10,815, and we were looking at uh, the first GPU test is 61.90, our graphics test number two is 51.50. We did have a couple times we maxed out to 120, 111 frames per second. Makes me think that they have some room with these drivers to optimize uh, DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 games. So I'm going to say max FPS was 111, because that's what it came to. Average FPS was... Uh, 71. Our CPU temperature throughout the benchmark, our max temperature was 67 Celsius. Our GPU temperature maxed at 52 Celsius. So that is the AMD variant. If we flip over and look at the fire strike for our 690, the max was 86 FPS. So this actually maxed out higher, but it, it did maintain 73.4 FPS of an average. It did score 13109, so it did score better than this, but the temperature on the GPU was 60 Celsius and the temperature on the on the on the CPU was 64. So the Intel variant did run a little bit cooler than its AMD cousin. So guys, I am going to get into um, some of the stats on this and just show you guys really quick on screen the different stats, kind of go over it quick, and then we are going to be on to our next benchmark which is going to be super positioning, which I absolutely love. That is a cool benchmark. So super positioning, I just do on 1080p by medium. It uses um, about 1.2 gigabytes of VRAM. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and run this bad mamma jamma. The one thing I don't like about MSI is you have to sometimes set the record and stop. Otherwise, it won't give you the correct uh, um, stats. It can skew them a little bit. So right out of the gate, we're getting about 64 FPS. We're averaging 29, 30. That loading screen really uh, screws Afterburner up. The max, we've hit 71 in this so far, but I'm gonna time-lapse this really quick and I'll be back to you at the end of the benchmark. <music>
guys, so that was super positioning benchmark, and we are going to go ahead and go over the stats. We scored 8,359 with a minimum FPS of 52.29 and an average of 62.52, which I'm going to jot that down to compare that with the 690, uh, the Intel brother and cousin. And then our max was 78. <clears throat> we did hit a CPU temperature of 60, 64 Celsius and a GPU temperature of 55 Celsius which if we come over here and look at super positioning, our 1660 Ti versus the RX 5500, uh, the 1660 Ti in super positioning on the 690 got a max of 1100, or sorry, 111 FPS. <clears throat> that scored 11502. The GPU temp was 67 Celsius and our CPU temp was 63 Celsius. So um, it does look like our AMD brethren ran cooler. And uh, yes, it was at an ambient room temperature of about 24 Celsius, 23 Celsius. So uh, yeah, this is this TG is probably just right down here in comparison of uh, power. Now graphics power, you're probably a little bit more. You're you're looking at uh, well, let's see here. Let me show you the comparison between the 1660 Ti and uh, an RX 5500. So let's just do 1660. Ti versus RX 5500. There's a pretty big variant. I'm a graphical type of person, so I like to see this. It is about an $80 difference, but the Ti you get about 27, 28% uh, increase in frames. Also, it's four uh, gigabytes of VRAM on the, the 5500 versus six gigabytes on the 1660 Ti. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. I just wanted to tell you, I do give this the two thumbs up of TechNet with approval. I do like this PC. Um, do I like the 1660 Ti better and the 690 better? I would take both of them if I had to choose. If they had both of, you know, both of these for $400 at Walmart, I would take the 1660 Ti. But if they only had the TG01 at Walmart, I'd take that. Um, so it is still a very comparable gaming computer. I will have gaming later on and if you've made it this far in the video I really really appreciate it and thank you guys y'all have a great evening day, whatever Probably cut Hey guys, it's Tech Knitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks